When a metal wire is heated in a vacuum, such as in this chamber, if you were to remove all of the air and gas, then that would be a vacuum. So this is a vacuum. It emits electrons. And this process is called fermionic emission. Fermionic emission. So we've ticked off that one. We've ticked off electro electrons. We may need to use that again. And thermionic emission. Thermionic emission. Now the negatively the negatively charged electrons are boiled off the wire and can be drawn into a beam by attracting them towards a positively charged a positively charged ring called an anode and if you do chemistry in electrolysis you'll know that there's an anode and a cathode the anode is positively charged and the cathode is negatively charged and so this effect this thermionic emission effect was discovered back in 1873 by a gentleman called Frederick Guthrie uh, in Britain and he discovered that a red-hot iron sphere would when it was charged up would lose its charge mysteriously and Thomas Edison about seven years later in 1880 uh, also rediscovered this effect when he was inventing his electric filament lamps and so here we can see the uh, a diagram of the experimental setup we've got a heating circuit here with the metal wire as a coil and this heating circuit has got a current flowing in it and the current flows into the wire and because the wire has a resistance it will heat up the wire is held at a negative voltage so that's connected to a negative voltage and that's because when we boil off these electrons these little electrons they will be repelled away from this cathode away from this negatively charged metal wire and towards the positively charged anode now a lot of them will just hit the anode and flow back down the circuit but some of them will go straight through the hole in the center it's like a donut with a ring and form a beam a beam of electrons and that beam of electrons will uh, continue on its journey through the vacuum until it hits a screen at the other end of the chamber and that's a zinc sulfide screen which will fluoresce little little sparks of light will appear whenever electrons hit the material this is a, a typical ex example of the production of an electron beam which is also called a cathode ray so what you need to remember is that the process is called thermionic emission it happens inside a vacuum where electrons are boiled off a hot cathode, a negatively charged wire, and then accelerated towards an anode, a positively charged anode, to form a beam of electrons. Why is thermionic emission useful? Well, cathode ray tubes such as this are used in the old style of television set. Uh, they're also used in sensitive measuring equipment called oscilloscopes which can measure very very small voltages which are changing very rapidly they're also used to create x-rays when you bombard a metal with electrons you can create x-rays and of course x-rays are very useful in hospitals for uh, diagnosing broken bones etc so that's thermionic emission and this is called a cathode ray tube